Hey guys, 11 April 2015. I don't have a GoPro, but I have a small camera. It's called a Mobius, and it takes uh, video in 1080p. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try and see how it works out. I'm just going to finish putting the slats on the second half of the bed, and I got you sitting back quite a ways. We'll see how it works out. If it comes out decent, maybe I'll throw some music to it. And Put it on YouTube and let you guys check it out. If not, I guess you're not watching this video, are you? Alright, time to go to work.
here for a second while I fold up these tripod legs. Alright, so this Mobius camera does not have a viewfinder, so I really have no clue what it's pointing at, but maybe this will give you an idea. Uh, one by fours, and actually this turned out to be so much work, I don't know if it was worth it, I actually was going to just use three quarter inch plywood, make two separate sheets, but... The way this is going to work is this single hinge right here, piano hinge across both of them, so the front lifts up and the back wheel as well. Like that. And then the way that bow mattress is, what I'm going to do is run a piece of this quarter inch underlayment stuff that I'm using on everything else just to cover across two sheets, one across this piece and one across that piece. And that'll give it support so the mattress won't press through. Plus that'll be glued and screwed on and give it some additional strength. But I think it's coming out pretty light in comparison to three quarter inch plywood. I, honestly, I don't know. If this doesn't work out, even though it was, uh, well, I don't know, half days worth of work, getting all this cut and glued and screwed together, I'll just tear these out and put in two sheets of three quarter inch plywood and suck it up, go with the weight. But that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, Saturday, April 11th. Uh, I have, still have the rest of today and then Sunday to work on this. I'm hoping to get most, if not all, of the construction done on the bed. And then it's going to be some painting and I'm not really sure what all I'm going to paint. These front pieces here, I'll probably end up painting those so that when you open up the doors it all looks decent. But as far as the top of that, it's all going to be covered with mattress and bedding. I don't know if that really needs to be painted to be honest with you. I'm not uh, real excited about painting. That's probably my least favorite thing to do. but. Anyway, that's where I sit right now, so hope everyone's doing good, and uh, actually here, let me show you what I did here. One by four, screwed to the upright beams with a, with a two by two on top. That's also glued and screwed, and that'll give a that thing's strength. You can sit on here or stand on it. It doesn't even bow. And then underneath that 1x4, I put a 2x2 two two in the corner just to carry that weight all the way down to the floor. I did that on all four corners to give it additional strength. And it doesn't really add much weight, but the strength is huge. Same thing up on the front. Now this does limit me to some space here, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to open this to access items that I have in the storage anyway, and it may actually turn out to be kind of a benefit to have this, at least up in the front, that way if I hit the brakes or something I've got crates and stuff underneath there, this will stop it and keep it from sliding all the way to the front of the, front of the van. What does this give me? Between the floor Looks like eight inches and the bottom of this and then total inside between the floor and the bottom of the bed it's going to be 14 inches just under 14 inches of vertical storage underneath the bed all right so I guess we'll cut it off with that and see if this video is going to be any good everyone take it easy and uh, we'll see you guys later